I built this custom stock cowboy pool for under $1,000. It works like a real pool, and it feels like a real pool for much less. Let's talk about how I did it and what tips. Nice flipping choice. So I'm getting ready to go into battle. I got the pool from Tractor Supply. It's an eight-foot one. was really big. I actually had to get a U- smaller U-Haul truck to bring it back. It was about $600. only had one little problem that I'll go into later, but to keep the ball rolling, these are some of the parts I had. I had an Intex pool filter pump. It was about $100 off of Amazon. I had a couple drill saw pieces. I had my drill, some plumber's putty, and a few other inlet and threads that I will list right here on this beautiful screen. I don't have it listed out exactly in front of me, but I'm sure it will look so pretty as I do this voiceover, and it will be right there once my editor puts it so i go to war first with the filter pump i had to get it under the ridge as much as i could if you can get a a all flat cowboy pool that is the best but i use my little drill hole to cut in to do for the first part of the filter you're going to need to cut two of these one slightly higher than the other one you put the strainer down on the bottom one you'll put the filter part just a little higher to help flow put some plumber's putty i ended up not putting enough plumber's putty the first time i did this so i recommend putting a ton of plumber's putty when you thread in that first filter pump. It's relatively easy over overall. As you can see, I put a good bit, but I did have a small little leak when I tested it, which I just sprayed a bunch of water on it to see if anything leaked off of it. Man, that's a lot of pump. <laughs> I had to go back twice, obviously, with the putty. Then I go in, thread it. Only hand tighten it, like I was saying. You don't want to crack this. These are plastic, but they do work really well. So you'll get one there. Now this is my lower one. I'm connecting my inlet thread that does not come with the filter pump. It was an additional, um, I think it was about 50 bucks. Like I know it will be listed in the front and I will leave the links in the description. Here I am doing a little test on the filters. That's when I found out I had a leak. So I undid it and re-put it in, but I, I save you the trouble of not watching that. I hook up my pump. I did use just use a filter pump. Some people recommended getting a sand one. It's a little more expensive, but you don't have to do as much maintenance. I kind of got this on a whim, so I might end up upgrading to a sand one eventually, but for right now, I just went with the regular filter one. It wasn't that big of a deal to me. I took, you know, the little bit of water I did have out. We ended up deciding to move it under the patio for a few different reasons for it to be level. I then noticed I had a small little crack when I did have some water in it. I don't know if that happened when I moved it, but me and my handyman were kind of doing some things. He did help me build the bench for it was about 250 300 bucks it was custom no, it was about 400 bucks probably with supplies actually so you know maybe it was a little under you don't need the bench necessarily though because you can definitely enjoy it and do some other things to make it work i wanted something just a little nicer and neater here i am cleaning out the bottom of it because we're going to move it a little more there i had to get it bone dry because i had some dirt all in there and when you're filling it up you don't want to obviously start with any dirt and you want to treat this just like a spa or pool Now I'm hooking up the threads. I'm kind of trying to hide them as much as I can. I'm gonna figure out some different ways maybe to hide the valve, but this is just kind of how my setup worked in the most flat place I could get. I did fix that hole with some Gorilla Glue spray. It worked great. Um, It definitely helped helped all of my problems with that and sealed it up tremendously. So Gorilla Glue, if you want to sponsor me, bring it on, I am ready for it. So I moved it once again, got more dirt in it. So here I am back and here I am sweeping it out, making sure that everything goes according to plan going forward. Filling it up now, I do have that spray head nozzle on it. As you can see, that is a, I got that off of Amazon for about mm, 30 bucks, 20 bucks, somewhere in there. I, it's definitely not essential, especially if you have city water or anything like that, but I'm out here on the well and I wanted to just make sure I didn't get uh, that much calcium in there to make my pool last even longer, even though these are, these are galvanized and will last a long time. So there you have it, folks. I appreciate y'all watching as always. Let me know what y'all want me to try to do next or make a video about. Check the description for all the parts and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.